Hello everyone, it's Retroaction, and welcome to a Visionaries review, Knights of the Magical Light. Now, Visionaries Knights of the Magical Light, or as the toyline was, just Visionaries, was a toyline released by Hasbro in 1987, and a property, accompanied by, accompanied by a television series, an animated series, that was commissioned for 13 episodes, from September to December 1987, and a running comic series, which was being printed by Marvel UK in 1988. But it was originally run by Star Comics in 1987. Uh, yeah, Vision Age was a toyline released by Hasbro in 1987. Now, there was a second series planned in 1988, but coupled with the constraints of the Hasbro Marvel Sunbow contract and the hologram gimmick and everything, the line was cancelled before Series 2 could ever see release. Cause, and the holograms did sort of play a part in that because they were expensive to produce as well. This is one of the last, this is one of the first and last holo series. Uh, this is one of the first tour lines to heavily use holograms, and it would be one of the last. Right, so here's all three of my visionaries here. I do have Witty Quick as well, but I'll get round to him in our haul video, which will be our next thing after Space Zone, which will be coming up tonight. But. So as, as you can see, I've got my three um, figures here. I've got Darkstorm, Lexor, and Leoric, which is the newest one. So we'll start here with Darkstorm. So here's Darkstorm. He's the leader of the Darkling Lords, and he's got a green and sort of sky blue colour scheme going on. As you can see, they all have the holographic feature there, and the staffs, which are gold for the Darkling Lords, and silver for the Spectral Knights. Reset that quickly. Now they are one inch taller than your standard GI Joe size figures, but they do have the same articulation. If I set that back up again, they have the same articulation. They have a movement at the lower leg there, and there's a rotation at the hips and at the ankle. Or the thigh, even the thigh moves and the ankle moves. Um, lower leg joint. They do have removable helmets as well, so as you can see, you can take that off. It's an interesting design on that. Good head sculpt, pretty good head sculpt as well. Put that back on. Each of them have a holographic chest plate, which tend to get lost because they were, for some reason, made to unclip. He has his weapon there as well, and his staff, and he has a rotation at the shoulder, and a joint at the elbow. So there's Dark Storm. Now coming on to the second Darkling Lord, Lexor. He's got a red and blue colour scheme and the same holographic feature there. Same articulation, pretty cool helmet design as well. And a good head sculpt as well. So that's that. Very nice. And finally we have Leoric with his silver staff and his silver chest plate. Now he is a bit discoloured and if we take his helmet off we've got a good head sculpt and a very nice helmet. So yep, that's my review of Visionaries, Nice Magical Light. Thank you much for watching. These are really good figures and they are quite desirable today for 1980s and 1990s toy collectors. Definitely pick up the larger vehicles as well. Um, the Lancer Cycle, Sky Claw, Dagger Assault and Capture Chariot, which are quite cool too. Anyway, it's been Retroaction. Look out for more Visionaries and 80s toy reviews on the way. Goodbye for now.